Good morning, guys. It's Saturday. We've got NFL preseason football on tap today, Major League Baseball. I'll break down a couple games for you. I'll talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers New York Giant game for you. I'll give you my insights from Pittsburgh, and I'll give you a free pick in preseason football. First, I want to tell you what's happening today with me. I've got a strong card today. We're on a 25 and 5 run. Uh, the last couple days we've lost. We've had a couple late inning blow games, but yesterday we did have the Pittsburgh Pirates, which was just a bad pick. But uh, 25 and 5 over the last 30, I'll take that anytime you want to dish it out. And I'm looking forward to a nice card on Saturday. I've got a baseball mismatch game. And I've got, it looks like now I'm going to have two NFL plays. I'm going to have my NFL game of the week and a bonus NFL play. So we're looking at a three pack of plays on Saturday. Those will be all available in one package for $25. Now, looking at the Saturday card, I'll talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers New York Giant game first. As everybody has seen, this line is just moving off the charts, and the Pittsburgh Steelers are the most heavily bet game uh, this weekend in the preseason. I should say one of the most uh, heaviest, heaviest bet based on percentage and uh, actually it's got the most bets uh, for the game itself. Uh, the reason the line has jumped the way it has, the New York Giants opened up a three-point favorite, and now I am seeing five and a half, in most places six, on the Steelers, minus six. What's going on there? First off, the New York Giants are not playing Eli Manning. He's got 12 stitches um, in his forehead. Um, they don't want to risk opening up the... Uh, cut again, you know, taking a hit with the helmet on. So they're just going to sit him this week. He's okay, but he's not going to play. What complicates things for the Giants is Jim Sorge, uh the backup QB, is also banged up. He's got a sore shoulder. They're going to rest him this week, which really leaves the Giants thin at the quarterback position. Rhett Romar is going to be the guy uh, that's going to get the majority of the snaps and they also signed recently uh, Holy Cross quarterback Dominic Randolph. You know, no NFL experience. So uh, the Giants are going to have trouble moving the football tonight. Does that warrant a nine-point swing in the line? Well, the Steelers announced that Ben Roethlisberger will get his first action this week. Tomlin decided to hold him out last week. couple reasons. Uh, weather conditions were horrible last week in the Pittsburgh game. Um, and he needed to get uh, Byron Leftwich some work to take over because, as you know, uh, the Steelers are going to be without Big Ben for at least four weeks to start the season, possibly six on the suspension. Uh, what I'm hearing, it's going to be four. He's doing everything the commissioner wants, so that should be reduced to just a four-game suspension. Uh, Byron Leftwich has not looked good in camp. He did not look good in the preseason game last week, and Tomlin kept him in there for double the amount of time that he anticipated. He wanted him to have work with the uh, first unit. He did not want to put Ben in the game after he took uh, Leftwich out because he didn't want Ben working with the second unit. Obviously, you don't want to risk injury to your star quarterback. So Ben sat last week. Byron Leftwich got extra work to try to you know, get the rhythm, which he finally got on the last uh, series he was in. He drove him uh, 67 yards for a field goal. But Dennis Dixon was the, the show last Saturday in Pittsburgh. Had a great game and creating a little bit of a quarterback controversy of who's going to be the starter when they begin the regular season with Ben sitting with the suspension. Uh, ben will get some reps tonight. How much uh, Tomlin wouldn't commit, but then you'll see Byron Leftwich, and then they'll give way to Dennis Dixon again. Uh, so the Steelers in the quarterback rotation obviously have a great advantage. Be careful laying this number with the six. It's just such an inflated number in preseason football. The Steelers are going to work on a couple other things too. Uh, Tomlin has voiced that he wants to get uh, his number one draft pick uh, for the center uh, Pouncey some work. So, you know, they're going to be working with, you know, a rookie center for a good part of the game to get him some work. They do want to get him in there with the first unit uh, to get him acclimated to the, you know, that starting offensive line. So the Steeler offense could struggle tonight. 
uh, also. And uh, with this total being what it is, uh, possibly uh, points could be a premium. So be careful against uh, laying the six points. Obviously, the Steelers have a tremendous advantage, but uh, they're going to be doing some different things on offense tonight uh, that could present some problems. So careful there. No official play from me this week with the uh, Steeler game. I am passing that, but I do have a free pick for you. Uh, one of the games that I considered in preseason football uh, this weekend, and something you've got to consider when you're looking at preseason football, is motivation and what the coach's agendas are. Uh, the Seattle Seahawks, uh, Pete Carroll taking that program over, leaving the USC Trojans, uh, they got a win last week. They're playing the Green Bay Packers, a team that scored a lot of points last week but lost in a close game. Uh, a lot of people expect big things out of the Packers this year, but really, Green Bay's got nothing to prove in the preseason. I think there's more motivation on the Seattle side, and I think Pete Carroll wants to get the town around him, get the players buying into his concept. I think he's going to go out to try to win these preseason ball games to create that momentum heading into the season. Seattle, you know, has been a disappointment for the last few years, uh, trying to get them back to a playoff contender. I think you've got value with the Seahawks tonight, um, laying that small number at home. I'm going to give you the Seattle Seahawks as your free play for Saturday. Hope you enjoyed today's show. Uh, we'll be back throughout the football season and baseball season with these where we'll break down a couple games, you know, go inside them, tell you how I look at these games and offer you my thoughts. Of course, I'll always tell you about what we've got going on as well today with my picks. Again, uh, looks like a three-pack of plays today, my NFL game of the week, my baseball mismatch, and a second NFL play. So once again, thanks for watching. Best of luck with all of your plays uh, today. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a great day. Good luck.